It's October 8, 2019. Louis just found his first bottle back here. He showed me what he's been digging. Found his first bottle. There's a Whitmore. I'm digging with Lou at the dump. All our spots way over there are all the holes. Look at all the greenery still here. We've only had our first frost, so, so stuff is still alive, including poison ivy. And Louis being safe, everybody, he's wearing his gloves. Daddy doesn't sometimes. <laughs> That's why that happened. That's a nasty cut. So wear your gloves, everybody. It's pretty good. You get first surface signs to keep it too. It's worth a couple of bucks. He found this nice cobalt bottle here, everybody. The one with the spout, the Strafford one. And that's definitely a, a very valuable bottle. <laughs> and I will be digging pretty soon. Just getting my strength back up because we walked pretty far in here. Look at all that leather. Too. Oh yeah, those are paintbrushes. Those are yeah, those are paintbrushes, dude. That's what that is. Cool. He's finding paintbrushes without the hair on them. Some of those have advertisements etched in the wood, you know. Yeah, I, I found these in Bradford. Paintbrushes, yay! Look at that. Still intact after all these years. That is awesome. Yep. Over there. On the bottom, it says Sanford's. Oh, you found that? Yeah, that was last time. Oh, that's a Sanford's, can I have it? Cap, Sanford's Cabot Ink. That's a Cabot Ink you found. You found that last time, you said, right? Yep. Okay, so he found a, a, a Cabot style ink in his hand here. Nice, look at that. Oh, we found these in the other dump down, down in Ainsbury. Nice, that's an 1800s bottle. Sanford's Ink, what the shape of that? Yeah. Huh. He's got a bottle behind this thing right here, but it's a chunk of steel. But there is a bottle in there. He's in a three-part live pole right here. We shall see what this. And there's old shoes in here from the 1900s. Between 1890. Oh, there's something right there. That's odd. Full of something. What is that? I think it's an electrical outlet. Yeah, it is. Actually, it's a hubcap. Wow, you find your first hubcap. It's a really bad condition. That's a hubcap, Louis. You found a hub. Nice. Not savable though, it's too rotted. Mosquitoes are hot. It's gonna bite me now. Oh, bottle still out. Oh, oh a bottle. <gasps> it's embossed. No, it's not. I thought I saw a evil mass on there. Oh, it's a little one. 1800s. Yeah, I got mosquitoes still trying to land on me. Soaked myself down pretty good. Another brush with the paint brush on the back of it. There you go. Wow, that's oh, old. Wow. Okay, he's got a bottle coming out. Let's get ketchup though. Ketchup. Is it a pride of the farm? No. Nope. No embossing. Not today. On the bottom sometimes is something. Like Put that over there. Alright, so we got that. It's got letters on the bottom. Yeah, ketchup number 26. <laughs> it's, hey, it's got bubbles. It's blown a mold, too. Yeah, just a slick. Put it over there. Oh, get one of those Brockton's. Say Brockton? Yeah. You find one of those Brockton paint companies. <laughs> it's a paint bottle from Brockton, Mass. These have awesome lettering on the bottom. Rockton Mass, everybody. Huh, look what's left behind from the 70s, a beer can from the 70s. Should you put that over there now? Oh, wow, that's interesting. Wow, look at that, everybody. You just found this. That's, I don't know what that is. It looks yeah, put that on like something. That is wild. Some kind of tool. I don't know. Put it over there. Yeah, the, kind of oh, sorry, I had to get into the picture to see the bottle. <laughs> Well, we're finding stuff in Boss. That's pretty good. He is right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me get 
sure the mosquitoes land on you. Look at all those white tops that go to the blonde tops. <laughs> I don't think it's marked. No, oh, but there it is. We have sodas in here. Top goes to, that's a cast that's a stove top. Yep, a little stove top. That might be that other part that you found over there too. Looks like a belt buckle. Ooh, we found his first nice old belt buckle. Look at that. Nice. It's a keeper. Copper belt buckle. Yeah, it is. Nice. Let's get it like all kinds of design on it. Oh, it's a door. It's, it's a door latch. Yeah, it's an old door. You found an old door latch. That copper thing is right near that little shovel. Yeah, it's part of a door. Pretty neat. Yeah, too, it doesn't have the... It's copper. All that right there is copper. Oh, it does have a design on it, the plate. Uh, I kind of want that too, but it's going to be hard to get that off of there. Yeah, it's in that pit over there. Just one bit. I think I see a bottle right there. A small one. I'm going to record some sidewall digging and see if he pops out a bottle here. There's a huge weird sewer pipe or something there he's digging there too. Maybe there'll be a bottle inside of it, you never know. Broken bottle. Clamshells too, and porcelain. Who can have clamshells? Piece of metal. Yeah, it is actually yes. That's a little studded bead found. Put it in my pocket. I think she's finding a milk bottle or a jar that might be worth something. A little hole. Ooh, nice. Does it say lightning on it? Electric. Big lightning jar. Oh yeah, see if it's cracked. There's still worth something, I mean. It doesn't have the wire going around it, but it's still okay. I know they have coins and stuff. No, it's just a, one of them shell buttons. Yeah. Lightning, put, Putnam Lightning, yeah. Lightning trademark. <laughs> I found a lot of these though. Some at yard sales and stuff for a couple bucks. Put it over here for now. I'd keep it, but if it was a crossroad type, I'd keep it. You're not gonna keep it? Okay. Yeah, I guess so, but we'll over there for now. Well, well, I'm gonna start digging everybody. He's found some good stuff and that's what he's digging. I'm gonna set a hole over there and dig toward him this way. There to here. All right, stand for part two.